What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Timberborn. So, first episode, uh, we got to where we are now. We survived the first two dry seasons, which is amazing. And we got a nice little colony going. We got 12 beavers. We only have 12. It's kind of crazy. It seems like it's taking forever to get beavers, but we've got 12 beavers. And we've got uh we've got food, we've got water, we've got lumber coming in. We're doing, I feel like we're doing good here. So we're gonna continue and uh, hopefully build up our amazing civilization here. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Anyways, so I was thinking, I'm like, you know what? We need to start putting things closer together. So that way we can like, you know, that way they don't have to go as far away. We need like one huge good city. So we're gonna try to do that. And I think one of the things that we need to unlock here is we need to unlock, where is uh, paths and structures? We need to get stairs and I think we need to get platforms as well. So let's go ahead and let's unlock the stairs because we can build on top of these buildings. And then we can also have these platforms right in, can we put these on the, on the, on here? Yes, we can. So we can have these in here and then we can put stuff like all on top of this stuff. You know what I mean? Like we can raise our entire city up. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, you know what to do. Um, I'm having a fantastic day. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. And what does this require? Um, oh, it requires planks. Oh, Ooh, that requires planks. Okay. So we definitely, is this guy going? Uh, no, we don't have a worker for that. So that's our problem. We're trying to get some workers going. Um, but yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Oh, actually, before we get going on anything else, let's get another water pump right in here. And then let's get a path for it because, uh, just in case, just in case, uh, we lose our water down here. We can then pump from this stream up there and we should, we should, should be good. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we should just let things run for a little bit because we need to get that built. Um, we could go over here and start getting some of this ruins stuff. We have a bunch of scrap metal over here. That would be handy for something. I don't know what, but it would be handy for something. We could also expand out in here if we really wanted to, but I don't think we, I don't think we need to right now. I think our food situation is good. And I think our lumbers, I think we're good on like all of the, the fronts right now. The only thing that I would maybe like to get water in here is another water source. Hmm. That would be nice. And then I would also like to throw a, um, a dam over here. So this water would stay as well, but yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. So let's let things run. Let's hopefully get some more beavers in here. So we can get our jobs filled that we have currently. You know what? Actually, whilst we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to put a, I'm going to put a dam right here. And the reason for that is because when we utilize this water here with this pump, we should still have this as like an absolute emergency kind of thing. So maybe that'll be like a secondary emergency thing. We'll have this one and then this one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Plus, it'll also keep this area right here nice and green if this doesn't ever go away, which could be useful for plants. <gasps> we have 15 beavers. Oh, they're making beavers like crazy. They must be super happy. So building lax workers uh, was born, was born, grown up. Awesome. Okay. Is there anything else that we can unlock for, for leisure? Must be built, satisfies spirituality. Visitors 15. Oh, because so this is my thing. If we make the beavers super happy, they're going to make more beavers for us, right? <laughs> Isn't that how that works? Um, Large warehouse. Ooh. 250 science points. Oh, geez. We don't have enough science points for any of this right now. <gasps> Look at that. Our planks are actually moving now. Nice. Yeah, our warehouses are getting like, like super full here. I'm thinking a large warehouse is probably going to have to be our next bet. I would like to make the, I'd like to make the beavers happier. Um, and we could always do the rooftop terrace. Oh, you know what? Actually... We could do these on top and then have just have stairs going up to them. You know what? Let's do that. Visitors six it satisfies a social life. Do I want them right there? I'm trying to think because I was actually thinking about putting other buildings on top of here too. You know, what? I'm going to put one there and there, and then we're going to put some stairs up there. We're going to make these beavers super happy. They're not even going to know what to do with themselves because they're going to be just so darn happy. Oh, I can't have it over a pathway. 
kind of interesting. So I'm going to have to have it like that, and then I'm going to have to have this in there. Well, I guess we could do that, and then we could actually go ahead and do that, and then that would give access to these, so then we could end up putting stuff up on here too if we wanted to. Maybe. We need to get another warehouse though. Yeah, once that hits, uh, once we have enough, we're gonna have to buy a big warehouse. You know what, maybe we should just add another warehouse to this. All right, so our little things are built up here. Now, I think we have to make an actual pathway to this. So if I grab the pathway tool. And we do that. That'll make ourselves a pathway. Oh, look at that. The rooftop place. Oh, they were using it. Well, now they're in bed. <laughs> I have the time too fast. Oh, we got 17 beavers so far. So we got three more beavers born. Two grew up. Uh, we did have one die, unfortunately. But you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. So are we actually... We have one beaver unemployed. Are you kidding me? That is such a good feeling to have a beaver unemployed. Okay, so what we're going to do actually is we're going to bump up our farmhouse and let them fill that slot perfect we have zero unemployed oh this is marvelous okay things are getting done now things are getting done this is good i'm actually kind of curious if i should remove all of this and increase our field all right let's see our little buddies using uh using our rooftop things look at them they're so happy it's so funny how they sit on their tails like that I guess it's like they have their own seat cushion, huh? Hmm. They look so happy. Okay. Awesome. Things are getting done. Um, I queued up some more uh, small water tanks. I can't get the large ones until we have gears. So once we get gears, then we get those going. This is all looking phenomenal. We're starting to get some trees in here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm really wanting to build a dam over here, though. Like, if I could build a dam over here. Actually, I mean, we might as well just build it over here and let this whole thing stay full. Uh, but getting over there is going to be a trick because we got to get people woo, all the way over here. Hmm. I think we need more research. You know what? I think we're going to get some more research going here. Can we squeeze one in right here? Indeed, we can. Let's squeeze that in there. Let's double our research because we're going to have somebody grow up here soon. We have five children. Five children. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> it's amazing. Okay. And then let's go ahead and let's get this finished up too. Let's see if we get all of those. And get all of these. That'll give us area to build up right there. And actually, I mean, we could do the same thing right there, too, but. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Because those all require planks. You know, our food right now is entirely berries. That's not good. I think we're too reliant on the berries. Where did all the cooked potatoes and stuff go? Like, did we eat all the potatoes already? Jeez Louise. Um, That might be something we should be working on here, huh? I mean, we have a bunch of wheat. Maybe I have too much wheat. This guy doesn't make wheat, does he? No. So the bakery, one wheat equals one flour. One flour plus 0.1 wood equals five bread. Oh, that's actually really good. 180 and, oh, that's a lot though. And then we also need the gear workshop too. Now, does this require, what does this require to build? See, this requires gears to build. So we have to build gears first, which is a hundred. You know what? Let's get this instead of the large workshop because the large workshop, we can just build, we can build more small workshops. Let's get this in here. We'll put that there and then, yeah, we'll get this going. Ooh, we got a uh, we got a drought incoming. I think we'll be just fine this time though. All right, here comes the uh, the dry season. So the dry season should stop right here. This should stay filled. The drought started. 
All right, so that should basically, it should basically end right there. Or right here. So this should stay full. Um, I did throw a couple little water barrels up here, so that way this guy could uh, just throw them in there if needed. We have all these water barrels here that are no longer like even close to being full. <laughs> these buildings completely lack power now, which is fine. I'm not worried about power. Uh, we've only got five a day. We got five days, wow. Five days of drought this time. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll just let them do their thing. Oh, man, I'd really like to get a dam over here. That would be very nice. Well, our drought is pretty much done. We are actually at 27 beavers. So we're running a little low on homes, <laughs> which is crazy, which is actually kind of crazy. But we should be good. Drought ended. Now, I want to see what happens because last time this kind of flooded a little bit with this initial like push of water. And I actually have an idea, a thought. Um, but I want to wait for this water to come back in here. Yeah, get back in here. Come on, let's go. Okay, so here it is. Going to hit this. Going to hit that. This is going to go in. It's going to come in over here. Is it going to flood again? This is going to hit this. This is all going to fill up. Okay, hit that dam. Is it going to fill up back here now? Is it going to go, woo? No? Are we good? Awesome. Okay, so this is what I was thinking. Long term, right? The, um, the droughts are only going to get longer. I think. So... I'm trying to figure out how we want to increase the amount of water we have. So I saw this button right here. It says migrate population, which makes me think that we could move our population somewhere else. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should start building up here and building this as our main town. And if we should try maybe focusing on flooding everything down in here, you know, flooding this part, this part, you know what I mean? I just don't know how to do that. I don't know how I'm going to do that. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just thinking, because we, we're going to need more water. And then I was also thinking that we could possibly make this just a big lake. If we just brought this up by one level, that would go cover. It would cover all of this. It'd cover all of this right here and then all of this right here. And then we'd have essentially a great lake. But I don't know how that's going to work. So I kind of want to go over here and I want kind of I kind of want to build a levee right here and I want to see what happens. Does it just flood up and then just go like around or is it like going to back up everything and then it's going to start filling in this area? I don't know because if it fills in that area, that's fine. That's not going to affect us. Um, but I'm just kind of curious. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right. So we do need more houses. And I'd like to get some of this metal stuff going. What are we at? Oh, we're at 339 for the uh, a water dump. Wait, 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 wait. Pumps and filters waters for beavers to drink. Three water goes into this and it discharges water. Oh, we could put a water dump in here and fill this up. Oh, that's kind of interesting. What is this? A depth marker? Oh, measures the depth of water. Irrigation tower. Okay, so that would give us some of that. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Uh, but you know what? We do need... Do we, is this the gear? This is the gear maker, right? Yes, you're making gears. Okay, so what are the other wooden items that we need? Uh, paper, printing press, uh, scavenger flag... A shredder 250 horsepower this thing only gives us 180 Woo! so even a process of that metal right now would be a little a little much what about explosives factory is there an explosives factory still oh there is a dynamite destroys the block of train underneath it and triggers adjacent dynamites interesting Floodgate blocks water up to an adjustable height. Blocks water up to an adjustable height. A double floodgate. A triple floodgate. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do any digging right now. Darn. Okay, so we're gonna. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start making. Uh, we're gonna start building an area over here because why not? We're gonna have to work our way over here anyways. So let's go ahead and let's just get this extended out that way, because they don't have to do anything with my paths. They have nothing to do with them. So we're going to have this area right here. 
Um, now... In order for us to be able to do anything, we're going to have to have water on the land. You know, I feel like we should just, just utilize what we have here. Which is kind of what I'm thinking we're going to do. I think maybe we should move all these buildings up here and then just expand this out with farms and forestry, you know? Because, like, this is naturally watered. However, during the winter time, or during the droughts, it's going to die. So, you know what? I don't think the haulers, the hauler doesn't even touch right here. So even if we do want to get that metal, we're going to have to figure that out. Mm, you know what? That's going to be future stuff. Let's just get going with what we got here. We need more houses. So let's look at the housing crisis. Uh, a mini lodge. A double lodge. A triple lodge. Uh, other buildings can be built on top of this unique to this faction. Satisfies sleep, comfort, inhabitants. Nine. I wonder how big that is. So like that's a single, that's a double, that's a triple. So that's gonna be considerably bigger. So a double. This one will probably be the one that we should get. It's only 150. It's not super expensive. Let's go ahead and unlock that. So what does that look like? Oh yeah. Oh no. It's got it comes out on the top. Actually, that would work. That would work just fine right there. It actually probably work okay right here too. We could do that there. That there. Let's see if we throw one there. And we throw a regular house right here. That will give them access to that. And then we could always throw up more lodges here. Like that, and then we could always do more here and here. So let's just get a path marked out for now. So like right there for those guys. Okay, so we'll let that do its thing. That should get the housing stuff fixed. And then we do need to address the farm. We need to address the farming stuff. So I'm thinking we're going to build another farm over here. We're going to grab our farmhouse, and we're going to place it... In this area. We'll go and place it like that. And we'll connect it up. That way we can get some farming stuff going over here. And then we could probably actually go ahead and get a warehouse in here. A small warehouse. Like that. And then we probably also need a hauler. So that way they can haul from... I'm guessing they haul from warehouse to warehouse. So, like, that would probably be a perfect spot for one. So, we'll go and put a hauler post there. That looks good. And then we'll plant some crops. Now, I think wheat is going to be the way to go. We just can't process it yet. Because three wheat will turn into 15 food. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get this going. We'll do that there. That'll get more wheat going. And then what did we need in order to get our actual wheat stuff going? So we need gears, which we're making, and planks. Okay, so we can actually do this now. Um, we're going to need a grist mill and a bakery. How much? What is the demand on this right now? Power output, network, power supply, and demand. So we need another water wheel here. Can we throw another water wheel right next to that? Oh my gosh, we can. Holy moly, that's going to be amazing. Okay, so we'll get that going. And then let's see. Let's get our grist wheel. We have enough for that. Go and get this powered up here. We'll just put a little straight deal right into... Nope. Straight deal. Right there. And then we got to get a path over there. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. We're getting all the things done. Okay, so I've got a lot of stuff queued up. And we've got a lot of wood, so we should be okay. Water is starting to get picked up, thank goodness. Um, this guy's not being able to keep up with these, though, so we might need another water mill there. I come to the realization that the wet season, we should be harvesting as much water as like, we can possibly hold. And actually, now that I'm making gears, I do have enough stuff to make a water tank. But uh, let's go ahead and just get everything going, and let's let things get built here first. Actually, let's go ahead and get that. 
Let's get that water tower built. Let's get a, a large water tower built right here. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to build it. Yeah, we'll build one right there. Why not? I got to say, we have five unemployed beavers right now, which is an amazing feeling. Absolutely amazing feeling. And now we have homes for 51 beavers. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. <gasps> so exciting. Oh, we're going to get this stuff made. And yes, things are going well. Things are going well. I'm excited to see us doing the things right now. Oh my gosh. Let's see. We had one, two, three. Three, four, five, six. We had six beavers born last night. <laughs> we have 33 beavers now. Seven children. Oh, we're getting. Yes, this is, this is the only problem is though we, we're going to have a food issue, which is what I'm trying to address now. I'm trying to make sure we get our food issue figured out because I know it's going to be an issue. And we had two more beavers born last night. <laughs> oh, we're going to have beavers everywhere. So I think our lumberjack, I think our lumberjack is, uh, is, is reached its capacity because there's a lot of trees here that we could uh, harvest up that we're not harvesting and our numbers are running low. So we are going to put another lumberjack guy in here. Uh, lumberjack flag. I'm just gonna actually going to put him right here. Yeah, we'll place him right there. Let's bring another lumberjack in here. Okay. And then this guy should be getting built... Logs, planks, gears. Oh, they're building the, the power right now. Holy moly. Oh, why did I build three of those? I probably didn't need three of them, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Oh my gosh. And then let's see our old large water tank. That's going to hold 300 water. That's going to be a good deal. But we're going to need more water to go with this. So I'm going to go ahead and just queue up another water pump right here. You know, what? I'm actually going to prioritize this uh, lumberjack flag as highest priority. So we get that guy built. Um, I'm also thinking that maybe we double up our lumberjacks a little bit here. Well, maybe not. I mean, we got other people. We got other people grabbing stuff too. So okay. Okay. So small problem. Uh, lots of beavers equals lots of more food requirement and lots more water requirements. <laughs> I need this and this to get online here pretty quick. This one's almost done. It's taken. It's taken a while. Um, I'm going to go ahead and prioritize this guy actually above everything because we're running out of water. We have seven unemployed now, which is good. So we can go ahead and throw another one in our farm. And let's see. We already got two in this farm. They're basically just chilling. Where can we throw other beavers at? I could put them in the hauler posts. But we're going to need one person there. We're going to need a beaver there, a beaver there. Hmm. Maybe we should put another farm over here and get, make this a huge farming area. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get another farm over here. There, look at that. Big, huge farm over here now. <laughs> that maybe will work. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, is this getting built now? Can't gather all required materials. 15 gears. Uh, just waiting for the gears. Oh, this turns planks into gears. Oh, so we don't have any We don't have any gears. Okay, so we're waiting for these two to work together to make some more so we can get the grist mill going. And then we can get the uh, the flour, the, the bread making place going, which will hopefully fix our food and we won't be so reliant upon berries. Okay, our population is increasing exponentially. We have 49 now. <laughs> Uh, more beavers equals more beavers. Who knew? I still don't think this lumber mill is enough to keep up. I, I still don't think it is. So I'm doubling up. I put another one there and another one there. Because, like, these trees are still, like, still... They're still standing. They should not still be standing. Because as these are standing, nothing else is going to get planted. Like, we need, we, need the, we need to be gathering them as soon as they're ready. You know what? We're going to have to build another lumber mill. We're gonna do another lumber mill and another gear workshop. Where we, it's just it has to happen. It's taking way too long for us to get any of these things done. So I'm building another set of water tower or water pumps right here. Our water is just not getting very. It's not. We're not getting enough water. I don't think we're pumping it out fast enough. So uh, yeah, we're gonna pump there because this will constantly fill up whilst it's the wet season, and then we can always turn these off, and then we'll just sit on what we got. But, like, we're not filling up the storage, little storages that we have, let alone the big ones that I have queued as well. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, the grist, the grist mill is up finally. <laughs> uh, wheat going in, flour going out. Fantastic. Oh, that's good. That is good stuff. So now we can actually start making bread. So I think we should start making the bread probably right here. Maybe we should maybe actually, you know what? Let's put it right here. Let's, where's the bread making deal? Uh, the bakery. Okay. Can we unlock this? Yes. All right. Let's get a bakery in here. Um, I would say two bakeries, but we probably, we're probably never going to need two at the same time. I don't think we're going to be bringing in that much flour or that much wheat. Or wheat and then flour pointing to the wrong things. Oh, geez. We have another drought coming in and none of our water is stored. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and prioritize these above all else. We need to be pumping as much as we can. Oh, gosh. This could be bad. How's this thing looking? Oh, no. Okay. It looks like we're going to get a good harvest in, though. So we should have enough wheat to last us this drought. No problem. I don't know how long the drought's going to be, though. Probably seven days. Oh, water, though. Water's going to be the issue. I have 15 unemployed beavers. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, let's do this. Let's get as many people in, in these places as we can. Oh, and of course. Oh, shoot. That needs to be priority, too. Oh, no. I don't even think we're going to survive a day. Because we're at 69 water, we're at 51 beavers. One day is going to be the water requirement. I need at least like 10 times that water. <laughs> oh no. How much do these small water things hold? Uh, 30. Jeez. You know what? Can I get another water pump up before this day? Before this horrible, horrible tragedy is of... Oh, I can. Okay. Prioritize that. We're at, we're 160 something water. <laughs> oh no. Trying to pump as much as we can. All right. This is our last day to pump as much water as I can. I threw another pump right here. So we've got these two. We've got these four. We've got this one. Oh, this is going to be bad. I think food, I think food will probably be okay. Cause I think we're going to get this up and running, which is going to give us a bunch of food. But I mean, our food doesn't look great either, but water's finally, we're getting 200 ish. Holy moly. Those are getting filled up. Thank goodness. All right. Today is the dry season. We're going to lose beavers. We're going to lose beavers. It's going to happen. Um, these are going to stop. This right here, I'm going to tell you this area right here is going to get dropped. It's going to get drained so fast because of these four right here. So you actually, you know what? We're going to, we're going to try to, we're going to try to limit these. Because the slower this drains out, the longer that all of this stuff stays alive. Oh, and we're not going to be making any gears either because the gears require power and the power is gone. Oh, this is only, okay, it's only like five, six days. Oh my gosh, we'll be fine. Alrighty, well that's gonna end it. We're gonna end it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Next episode, we'll see if we survive the drought. I think we will. I think five days will be fine. Um, I don't know if everybody will survive. Because five days is 250 water, right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, so we should be good on water. Food is gonna be a little close. Um... Food's gonna be a little close, but we might have carrots or the rest of these berries come in. So we might, we might be squeaking by, but the next drought, we're gonna have some serious, serious work to do here. So, um, but yeah, thank you again for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. This has been Timbermore. I'll have a link down below if you guys are interested. I'll see you next time.